Hello and welcome to eLearning Campus children. Today we are going to start mail merge. So let's start with the mail merge. So here in mail merge, uh, you just need to go to the mailing, mailing tab. Here, tab here you can see home and search draw and mailing. So click over here and start mail merge. The last option we will get step by step mail merge wizard. So when you click over here on the left right side, you can see one panel. Choose your type of document and then click to the starting document. Here, if you want to use a current document, choose it. Otherwise, you can use the template in the other existing document as well. And then first, we'll start with the selecting recipient. You can use existing list or you can create a new list. So we are starting with the new list. Click create. And here you can see this is the uh, what we can see. We are creating a data source over here. So data source is nothing but the uh, storage of the mailings or we can say that it will keep the record of the address addresses okay whatever addresses we want to insert in our document that address we can put over over here mail merge we generally use for this purpose only so first entry we are doing over here we are using only four fields title first name last name and city so i have inserted mr raghav bose and city bangalore and now I want to enter a new entry so or a new record. So what we can do, I'm not entering state and any other thing. So new entry, I'm clicking over here. See, the next entry I am going to do is Mrs. Let's say Preeti Shinoy. So remember children, uh, ma uh, mail merge we always use when we want to create the same document to the multiple user. Here you can see in data source, so many fields are there. If you want to use it, enter the data, otherwise you can leave it blank also. We have option to delete these fields also. I'll show you that also. Let me feed the other entry first. Miss Ranita and the last name, uh, let's say Joshi and the city indoor so this is how we can enter the data we have other options also first i will show you the customized column okay here in customized column you can see so many fields are there so if you want to add delete or rename any field you can do see this is the delete option you can click here and it has been gone now the next i'll show you let's say state so if you want to rename you can click the field and you can rename it if you want you can change the name otherwise you can click okay or cancel okay whatever you want you can do from here now add how to add a new address uh, field so here you can type a new field and see click ok and below state you can see a new field has been entered you can move up move down so many other options are here that we can use over here with the help of this dialog box after that click ok if you are okay with all these things otherwise you can click cancel also okay now now here we can see delete entry if you want to delete any entry you can click the entry select the entry and you can delete it if you are okay click okay and first it will ask you to save your data source now here already a few mailing uh, data sources are here i save it with the name my data s and click save and see it has been saved now with three records now click ok and it has been attached over here so now what we will do we will go to the next step and start writing our letter first now from here, from this option, we can insert the address block as it is. Whatever pre-designed format is given, we can use the address block from here also. And we can insert and we can click OK. And the second, we have greeting lines. If you want, you can insert the greeting lines also as it is. Whatever format you want, you can choose from here. And you can click OK or cancel. Now I'll show you how we can insert it manually. So we have inserted title, first name, last name. Okay, so whatever you want to insert, you just need to select and click insert. Now see, it is, it is here only. Okay, now but I don't want to insert it here. So I'm deleting it. I have to change a few formatting settings. 
I don't want any color and I want it in black and I also wanted to reduce the size of the words and then I need to align it to the left you know uh, usually we use left aligned letters now I'm inserting title insert click first name insert last name insert and then company name we have not entered but I am inserting it so that I'll show you what will happen if you will insert the thing which you have not feed the data now city now you can see everything is in the same line but I don't want it in the same line what we will do we can put our cursor in between the entries and we can change it manually also so I want title space first name space last name company name should go at the next line and then next line city okay now I will show you if you want to ent enter the greeting lines or you want to merge the greeting line field also so here also we can choose title and first name but I will show you the greeting line now see I am using as it is you if you want you can change it click ok now greeting line has been entered now this is my entire letter that you can see over here let me remove this highlighting things okay now okay let me reduce the size of the entire letter so that you can see the letters all together the complete letter all together so i am reducing the size of the letter so here you can see title first name last name company name, city greeting lines everything now go to the next step and from here you can see the first recipient name whenever we click go to the next step it will show you the first recipient uh, and you can see city name uh, sorry the company name we have not entered but so but we have inserted that field over here so that is showing blank now recipient 2 this is recipient 3 okay so this is how we can check whether all the fields have been merged properly or not and if you feel to print it you can go to the print option you can click all current record means only one paper you want to print or from one page to another page so you can select everything and you can click ok and once you click ok it will ask you to save your pdf means whatever you are creating that merge field it will save it in a pdf format so it is saving your all the letters in pdf format children i told you earlier also that if we are using mail merge at the time of creating the letter you are creating only one page letter but if you have inserted that field that uh, merge uh, you have merged that fields so for all the record it will create a separate letter over here that is the beauty of this merge field okay or the mail merge now you can see the first entry we have raghav bose and let me show you the second one okay now you can see the second entry Preeti Shenoy the same letter and the third page is for Ranita Joshi Indore. okay so this is how we can create the mail merge so the one type you need one time you need to prepare the letter and the same letter will get printed for all the records so this is all about mail merge children all other video links are there in the description box you can add and if you like my video, please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.